Welcome back, and we're here with Valerie Washington. We're talking about medical miracles, the miracle that she has survived a hair stroke back in 2008. And Valerie, do you have something else to add to that? Oh, I have to, yes, I have a, something else to add to that, praise God, that I did survive because I survived completely without any, any signs that I was afflicted in any way. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful to the Lord because I know that a lot of my friends was, was praying. My, my son, he was a prayer warrior. Yes. Still is a prayer warrior. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, standing up for his mother. And I'm so thankful that I supervised completely and can't even remember what happened, that I'm able to go around and take care of myself. I can go out and work if I have to. Oh, wow. Or do whatever I have to do. Even right. though I'm 70 years old, I have so much to be thankful for. I know that prayer is powerful and that what he has done for me, he can do for each and every one of you here today. And that you should put your trust in the Lord. Trust in him because he right. wants each and every one of his children to be well. When Jesus was around, you know, people would take the sick one over to touch him, that they will be healed, that he would touch them and heal them. Yes. And he's still in the same healing business today. God do not want his children to be sick. Mm -hmm. He wished that you would prosper, all prosper and be in good health. And yes. I just want you to, to receive his words and receive his prosperity, receive his good health. In Jesus' name, don't oh, yeah. accept any hit, sickness or anything that come against you. Do not accept it. Just believe that you could be well, and you would be well in Jesus' name. All right, look at look at that. She's. Uh, I think we're having church today. <laughs> <laughs> Every day should yeah. be church. But as you yeah. know, Valerie was saying, like you know, when she was just saying that. Um, that he is a healer today, even though we're in 2015, a lot of people lose their faith and believe that, okay, because they see all the bad stuff that's going on happening in the world today. God hasn't changed. God is the same today. I mean, yesterday, today, and forevermore. I recently had a story. Uh, let me tell you a little bit of incident that I had in my, in my family with my youngest son, 20-year-old. Uh, uh, we were talking about, well, Jesus is a healer. Well, you know, when women, uh, when we become pregnant, you know, we are... Uh, Acceptance of certain infect, um, infections, affections in, in our body. And um, so what happened was, I remember this event, you know, God had brought it back to my memory, what had happened. Um, I know when I was carrying him, I felt the symptoms of like having a, a urine infection. It felt like a urine tract infection. Well, actually, and then my son, like just three months ago, three months ago, he was feeling like he had a urine tract inf infection. So I was telling my son, I was advising my son, to drink some cranberry juice and just to see if that would, you know, help the, the help us um will resolve the problem. Okay, he said he was still feeling it, and so he was feeling a lot of pressure and having a hard time going to the restroom. And so I told him, I said, well, you know what, you probably need to go to the doctor and get some get some antibiotics. So he he did that and find and finding out that he went to the doctor, found out that he did not have a urinary tract infection. My son got really nervous. They told him, well, you have something that females have. And he was like, huh? So he thought he was turning into a female or something. <laughs> he like, <laughs> I said, son, relax, relax. I said, you need to explain. Because my son, he's, he's away at college. He lives in Texas, and I'm here in California. So I couldn't you know, get to him. And so he was really upset about it and really nervous about it. I said, go to the doctor. Ask the doctor to explain to you in layman terms so you can understand what she's saying to you. And so he had said a word. And I don't remember the word, all these medical terms. But basically what, what it is, it was an affection that I had had. And see, when I was pregnant with him, I got treated for a urinary tract infection, but that's not what I had but that's what they treated me for. So what happened was affection that was in the body, it stayed in my body and it passed through my son when I gave birth. And all these years, my son is 20 years old. So that infection like dormant in his body is just now manifesting in his body. Now here's the miracle right here. The, the affection that he had that he got through me, it should have killed him within five, uh, like five days after his birth. He should have been handicapped. He should have been blind. But none of these events took place 
because God was looking over me and he was watching over him. Finding out after 20 years what he had now, he was able, the doctor was able to treat what he has and now he is all clear. Thank Praise God. God. Thank so you. sometimes, you know, you don't even realize what is in your body and what you have transmitted through a fetus that you carried for nine months. So just on that, knowing that, you should be giving God all the praise because God could have took my son's life after the week of being born. He could have been had any kind of medical problems. He could have been handicapped. He could have came out blind, but he didn't. He had something in his body that I didn't even know that he had until now. After 20 years of life, I'm finding out what I passed through my son and was lying dormant in his body for 20 years. 20 years. That's a miracle. Yes, it is. And that on that miracle, that is, that is enough to give God the praise. It's like, Lord, I don't know what's going on in my body. You don't even know what's in there. But just thanking him every single day mm -hmm. for good health, you don't know what he's clearing out. Amen. You have no idea. Don't Glory take things for God. granted. On that note, we're going to end in your face right here. And we're going to say, don't take things for granted. Mm -hmm. Sometimes recognize, just to sit back and just to think. Mm -hmm. Give yourself a quiet time. And really think that what God has brought you out of. Did he bring you out of sickness? Mm -hmm. Did he keep you away from hurt, harm, and danger without you even knowing it? Did you turn somewhere else left when you were supposed to go right, but something in your mind said, you know what, go this way? And what was down that way, it was danger over there? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, just think about it a little bit. Just think. Until next time, this is Tanya in your face. Mm. And... If you have any compelling stories that you would like to share, any testimonies that you would like to share on In Your Face and be a guest here with me, you can reach me at, go to sistertaysister.com. Sister, Tay sister, sister, like you spell sister, Tay, T-E, sister.com. And you can leave me a message or you can go on Facebook, Tanya Washington, and look me up there or you can go to Instagram, The Tanya Washington, and you can also leave me a message there. If you're interested in sharing a compelling story, to reach out to someone, to give hope, until next time. This is Tanya with In Your Face.